Now, traders, listen to me carefully. This is very important. There is nothing more from a technical perspective. There's nothing more important than this step. If I can get you to only lose one bar on every single losing trade, if I can help you get you to the point where that's just automatic, that you never lose more than one bar, I guarantee you, you're going to be a profitable trader. This is the number one way to almost instant profitability. Limit your losses to one bar. Now, when you win, you're going to win eight bars. But every time you lose, you'll lose one. When you win, you might win 20 bars. But every time you lose, you'll lose one bar. You might win four bars, you'll lose one. You might win six bars, you'll lose one. You might win two bars, you'll lose one. You might win one bar, you'll lose one. You might win 50 bars, you'll lose one. You'll have many different types of wins, but you will never have a different type of loss. Your loss will always be one bar. Do this. And I promise you, it's freaking guaranteed that the winners will take care of themselves. You see, this rule makes you into the perfect cutter. I want you cutting the stock when it needs to be cut. I want you chopping the stock's neck off when it needs to be chopped off. And that's limiting your losses to one bar. This moving average, the blue one is called the 20 period simple moving average. And the red one is the 200 period simple moving average. All these moving averages do is sort of smooth out the data. The blue moving average is smoothing out the stock's data over 20 individual bars. It's giving you the average of the past 20 bars. The red one is giving you the, the average of the past 200 bars. All right. Now, my traders know that we don't trade without these two moving averages on the chart, and I'm going to speak about them a little more thoroughly later. My traders also know that they should be looking for power surges off of these two moving averages. Power surges. So take a look at the first bar of yesterday. This is yesterday's price data, May 14th. Look at the surge off the area of the 200 period moving average. All right. So this is one of the things they're taught to look for. Surges off the 200. Surges off the 20. We've got two moving averages and surges off of them are very interesting plays. All right. They're also taught the color changes off of the moving averages. So we've got surges. This is a surge, a power bar, off the area of the 200. A color change, let me, let, me, let me show you what this is. This is a color change. Let's say you have a green bar. And you have a red bar followed again by a green bar. This is the point that green turned the, that, the, that this bar turned the market back to green from red. It temporarily switched to red, but green took the market back by eliminating the high of the red bar. At the moment green takes out the high of the red bar, my traders are taught to strike, buy. Say they buy 100 shares. All right? So they're taught to do two things. Well, many things, but these are two things. They're taught to buy into surges off the 200 and the 20. 
They're also taught to buy into color changes where green takes away a red bar. Now, look at the color changes here. Take a look. Green takes away this red bar. Green takes away this red bar. And so there are two color change plays here. Boom! They buy that green bar as soon as it passes the high of this red bar. There's another one. Boom! They buy that bar as soon as the green bar passes the high of the red bar. I call this the color change play. All right? Here's another little one here. Boom! Green eliminates the high of that red bar. Now, now that you know the two main things, all right, surges and color changes, where does this, where does the only lose one bar come into play? Well, it's simple. If my traders are going to buy into this bar as it's surging off of the 200, they cannot lose more than this bar. So if the stock were to drop and break the low of one of the bar, they would immediately exit the trade. They're not allowed to lose more than this one bar. If, they, if my traders buy into this green bar as it surpasses the red bar, that's the color change play, right? They can't lose more than that one bar. If the stock were to drop and break the low of the bar that they jumped into, boom, they immediately exit the trade. If my traders buy into this green bar, they cannot lose more than that one bar. If the stock drops below the low of that bar that they jumped into, they must immediately exit the trade. So, by keeping your loss limited to one bar, look at this. This is your risk. This is your risk. But look at your potential. So, this is what you're going to lose. But this is your potential win. Look at that. Here's your loss. Look how small that is. Now, how many of these loss amounts fit inside of the win amount. Wow. That's how you stay in this game forever. You make sure that on average, your losses are much smaller than the potential win in the game. Look at this play. This is your loss amount. This is your risk unit. That's what I teach my traders to call it. This is your risk unit. Always know your risk unit. But this is your potential win in the play. Now, I always say this is the upside down um, snowman, right? So I'm going to put some Oreo cookies here like I used to do as a kid. All right. That's a little snowman. Let's give him a little hat here. A little hat there. carrot for a nose, There's some twigs off of a tree for his hands, and uh, go into the closet and grab some old boots or something like that. I used to do as a kid. I want my traders playing the snowman game. Do you understand? I want the head to be the loss. I want the body to be the gains. In this fashion, you can lose two, three times in a row 
and get one winning trade and it wipes out all of the three losses. This keeps you in the game. This keeps you consistent. Keep your risk unit limited to one bar and you will be in this game forever. All right. Let's take a look at another play. This is Uber. We're looking at Uber here, right? Again, two-minute chart. Every bar represents two minutes of trading. We've got the 20-period moving average, and we have the 200-period moving average. All right? Now, as a general guideline, when our stocks are above the moving averages, we tend to look mostly from moves to the upside. When the stock is under the moving averages, we look for moves to the downside most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. All right, so we've got the stock Uber is above the moving averages. All right, so we're gonna look for upside movement because we are above the moving averages. Now, let's find the color changes. Do you see them? Do you see the color changes? When does green wipe out a red bar? Right here. Boom! Let's come from way over here. Shh. Boom! Right there. Where is your risk unit? One bar. One bar loss rule. That's my risk unit. This is the potential win. That's the snowman right there. All right? Let's take a look at another color change. Look at this one. Green, boom, takes out red. What's your risk unit? The one bar risk unit. The one bar rule. And even here is your potential. Okay? Boom. Boom. What's your risk unit? Under that bar. That's really small. So do you see this? This one's a little bigger. and You have to make sure that because this risk unit is a little bigger, does it adhere to my $50 maximum loss per trade rule? Let's go over it. So I'm entering here, more or less. Let's call that 30, 45, 30, and then low. Let's call that 45, even. That's 45, 30, 45, even. All right. I will lose $30, all right, if I get stopped out. That's far below my maximum loss of $50. I can play this. Boom. This one. I can probably play, this one I can play 100 because 200 I would lose $60. This one I can probably play 200 because it's smaller. And this one I can probably play 300 shares. That's very small. And I love that sound. That's it. Beautiful. If I can get you to never lose a specific dollar amount on any given day, let's say that's 200. If I can get you to take that 200 divided by four or two, if you want to give yourself more room, but let's say four, and I can get you to concentrate in the right price area to trade the Ubers of the world, to trade the, you know, the right stocks in the right price range. If I can get you to never lose more than one bar ever, the, you will be doing your job. 
And then the market will do its job. The market's going to go all by itself. The market's going to win all by itself. You can throw darts at a list of stocks and play these four things, play utilizing these four things, and I promise you that you, out of every 10 trades, you'll have a few of them you're going to have to cut, and you'll have several of them go. But the ones you cut will be small, and the ones that go will more than wipe out and make up for those losses and throw you into profitable territory. You don't even have to be a good stock selector as long as you limit your loss to one bar. You don't even have to choose well. You'll be doing what stands in the way of consistent profitability. Limiting your losses stand in the way of consistent profitability. Now add some skill at selecting the right things and then that throws you way over the top.